All right. Happy Sunday. Hey, man, did you hear that the Odd Couple Costa Rica podcast is no longer? Did you uh, see any other disparaging videos lately? I'm going to be getting into that, and I got a feeling it's I'm going to go where you probably don't think I'm going to go, but we're going to talk about this drama that seemed to have unfolded about the relocation retreat, and we're going to get into it in a second. Guys, I am Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd appreciate it. And if you hit, if you want to see videos as I put them up, hit the notification bell. All right, man. You know, I'm super bummed. I'm super bummed. You know, I was I was going to make a quick video just for you people that do watch the Odd Couple Costa Rica podcast, which was every Sunday at nine. I was going to make a short video and say that's no longer. And don't waste your time waiting around for us to come on at nine. <laughs> that's it. But then it came to my attention that there was a disparaging video from my uh, fellow uh, podcaster, we'll say. Um, and I started getting a few comments in and I was hearing that I'm a backstabber and this bad guy. And you know, me and Sarah, you know, threw this, you know, my my fellow podcaster under the bus. And I was like, wow, man, you know, so <laughs> I haven't watched the video. I can't watch the video because I know I'm going to be probably more upset and I don't want to throw mud that way. This video is going to probably go where you don't think it's going to go. I'm just going to explain very briefly uh, what really happened because the video that some of you had watched was extremely manipulated and totally taken out of context. But that's not what I'm upset about. You <laughs> stay, stick around for that. All right. So here's what happened, guys. I made a video of how me and Sarah got, to, we ended up getting together on this new relocation retreat. And I said in the video that we got ahead of us, it got ahead of us. We couldn't say some things because we were at the past relocation retreat. We didn't want to put it out in the ether and Alan was left out of the picture. And he was, he was, I made that video. Did you guys not see it? Actually, it's, it's, pu I've made it public again. I apologize. I made it right. We were a team once again, which you probably don't know. Okay. So I, again, I didn't watch his video he put up, but I can tell him what people said. He took excerpts of a private conversation, man, and took them out of context. I, I would ask any of you guys that doubt what I'm saying to ask Alan to post the whole conversation, the entire conversation, and the end of the conversation when I said, Alan, I'm going to make this right. And when his wife said, Michael, I accept your apology. Why don't you ask him to play the whole conversation? Why do you even, that is so wrong to take, put, take a private conversation and put it up. Do you guys not understand that? That sucks major ass that he even did that. He even did that. So I, I'm a little bummed about that. But here's what happened, guys. Here's what happened. It went too fast. We understood it did. Alan got mad. We had a conversation, which is, I guess, is what's part of the conversation he threw up. When I, when, so after that, I said, I'm going to make it right. Talk to Sarah. We decided, yeah, let's, you know, we've messed that up. We messed it up. He's on the team. He's on the team. We put his picture back on the website. We did everything. The next day, the next day, we had an hour and a half Zoom call about the relocation retreat. There was nothing said in there. We didn't rehash it. Everybody seemed to be fine. We're, we're on the same page. We're all working together. Matter of fact, I wish that one was taped because it was joking around. It was jovial. It was it was an hour and a half of, of, of the three of us just going, okay, working out the details of the relocation retreat. All right. <laughs> Ask Sarah. Nobody's going to dispute. You can't dispute this. So he's, he's, everything's fine. Okay. The next day, I can show you, you. Do I have to show you the message with his little face on there in my WhatsApp? This is what he said. And he sent the same marriage to Sarah. I appreciate the opportunity given for us to work together as a team on, on the new, re, new, new relocation retreats. However, I have decided to bow out from the new relocation retreat and the Odd Couple podcast. After much consideration, I have decided that I need to focus on my tiny house and developing my off-grid homestead and want to make that my priority. <laughs> Didn't say anything to me about still being pissed. Didn't say one thing. Not one thing. I made it right. I, I made it right. I understood the, where I went wrong, and Sarah understood where we went wrong. And we apologized, and he was back on, and everything was hunky freaking dory. 
Now, I would, I would say he knew he was going to quit the whole time and he was gathering information, but I don't know that. I'm not going to throw, I'm not throwing stones at Alan. All I could, that's the story. Look at my apology video. We talk after that. It's so, but that's not, that's not the thing. I have a clear conscience on this, but you know what was hurtful? What was very hurtful is, first of all, trust me when I tell you, if I was going to backstab somebody because I had an outcome I wanted, I would freaking backstab the shit out of them. And after that, I'd turn them around and stab them in the front. So if I had an outcome that I wanted, why would I just stop and go, okay, I guess we tried to backstab and got caught. But that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't even make any sense. You know, we asked him to be back on the team. We, we made, it, made it right. So anyway, I don't understand that. But, um, so, but that's not what I'm mad about. Not or upset about. I'm not mad. So... I did, however, although I did not watch his video, I did read the comments. And I saw some people on there, you know, that have followed me for years, literally years. Now, I understand that you were hoodwinked. I understand, you know, it sounds like the video, it was manipulated and it would definitely was taken out of context. Any out and out lied, sorry. Hashtag sorry, sorry, he lied. I'm, he did. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but again, that's not what hurt. What hurt was I had been making videos for 16 years, over 900, probably closer to a thousand have poured my heart and my soul, personal stuff, uh, addiction issues, being lost in the abyss of darkness with some mental problems for, to help, to try to help other people. You know, making videos, making videos, honest and integrity. That's why people watch me is that I got nothing else. That's all I got. That's all I freaking got is honesty and integrity. And the fact is, after 16 years, the, there was like five or six names that, that uh, commented on his video, you know, I guess saying all the bad stuff about uh, Sarah and myself. That's what hurt. I was like, really? You were that easily hoodwinked on a manipulated, taken out of context video, knowing that you've seen hundreds of my videos. You know me. Do you think I'm faking this shit? Do you think I'm faking this shit? I actually am more disappointed with this. A few of you. A few of you. You betrayed me. I can't believe that after 16 years, 16 years, I'm a backstabber now. I'm a backstabber and I'm a pedal of Porta Vida and me and Sarah too. All of it, wrong, wrong, and wrong. You know what? This hurts me to say. I swear to God, this hurts me to say. You guys know, you, you know who you are. Unsubscribe to me because I actually don't want you as subscribers. Really. I'll take a thousand unsubscribes. I don't need people like that on my channel. I thought we were all together in this with loyalty and, you know, you could ask me. Why did you freaking ask me? Why did you go, Michael, DM me, man? Put, do it in my, write my Gmail and go, Michael, what's up with that? And I would explain it to you. I don't want to throw him in. I'm not going to do this shit on video back and forth. That's why I'm not going to sit here and trash uh, uh, him. You know, I just told you what happened. It wasn't that complicated. And I have the video proving it that I tried to make it right. You know, so, and, but in the meantime, he's cutting things up and manipulating when he knew he, he was going to make that video. He never really wanted to come back. Why didn't he say that? Talk about honesty. He say, oh, I'm Semper Five bullshit military. I tell it like it is. He didn't tell me. He didn't tell me. I saw the error of my ways. I saw the error of my ways. All right? And I'm man enough to apologize and make things right. And yet I got people that have been watching me for fucking 10 years, man. 10 years. Ready to throw me under the bus. Now all of a sudden, I can't believe Michael's true colors. Leave my channel. Mike Long, TravelCoastRicanow.com. Peace.